Well, I hope you had a spectacular and very safe 4th of July holiday. As we look forward to our Friday, we're looking at a few storms that will be possible into the afternoon. It is still going to be a muggy feel as we get into Friday, right around the middle 80s, and a few of those storm chances will be toward the mid to late afternoon hours. Overall, though, vast majority of the day is likely to be dry. Just a touch cooler, still going to call it a mild day Saturday, upper 70s. We'll take an edge off some of the humidity. Mid 80s on Sunday, it'll be a bright, beautiful, gorgeous end of the weekend and then back closer to the upper 80s to near 90 as we get into early next week on Monday. Now, the vast majority of the area still have a few light showers that have been lingering far east of I-75. Did have a dry evening in downtown Toledo for the fireworks display. And looking at radar, where we had some rain today, there were some decent rainfall totals south and east of the Toledo Metro across southern Putnam County. From Ottoville down toward Delphus, we had about an inch to two inches of rainfall that extended over toward Columbus Grove, around an inch just north of two 24 though look at that sharp cutoff. It was less than a half an inch of precipitation and it was scattered about in parts of uh, Seneca County where Tiffin was hosting uh, their fireworks display tonight had reports in and around Bettsville of about an inch of rainfall and that higher total around Attica as well right along 224 and this is where really some of the highest totals were this is over toward Erie and Huron County one to two inches of rain that was estimated by Doppler radar especially just east of Norwalk. Now temperature wise we are still muggy upper 60s to near 70 degrees. It will have that thicker, humid feel tonight and into tomorrow. Last of any of those showers are tapering off, moving to the east, and we will be dry the rest of the night tonight. And a quick update, though, down in the tropics where we're going to be monitoring very close uh, hurricane barrel that is moving now as a category three storm very close to Cozumel. And overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, it's going to make landfall somewhere between Tulum and Cancun as what will likely be a very strong category two hurricane when it does make landfall. Where will it go next? It will emerge off the Yucatan Peninsula as a tropical storm may reemerge. Brand new data showing that that could be a category one storm as it loops back toward Mexico and up into southern Texas. That will be early next week. The rest of tonight, we do have dry conditions on the hour by hour forecast that will be moving in. Partly cloudy skies to start our Friday into the afternoon Friday. A little increase in the cloud cover and this is where we get just a few isolated storm chances. And I'll be honest, the hour by hour forecast has been showing less and less storm action through the afternoon. We may skate through much of the day tomorrow with dry conditions outside of a few isolated storms. So there's some sunshine early in the morning, right around 80 by 11 a.m. back at the mid 80s. And I'll mention the chance we get a few isolated storms storms tomorrow afternoon and evening mid 80s on Friday upper 70s on Saturday just a slim chance of a shower on Saturday I'll keep that chance 20% or less mid 80s Sunday upper 80s near 90 on Monday and here we go into next week mid 80s continue Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday there will be some scattered storm chances or a few showers lingering through at least Wednesday and highs by the end of the 10 day forecast going to go back through the upper 80s and we'll get close to 90 degrees as we roll into the middle of July.